Although we won't spend a lot of time on this topic yet, it's important to know that there are even more test-first practices beyond the simple ones we've already seen with test-driven development. Specifically, there's the practice of acceptance test-driven development. A tool exists and has for many years called Fitness, which allows business users or, say, product owners, folks like this who typically create specifications, to create those specifications in a wiki website. Underneath that wiki, developers are able to hook in to the data expressed in those specifications and run the data through the application being developed, thus exercising the acceptance tests directly on the system in an automated fashion. Acceptance test-driven development is really about taking the business language and ideas of functionality and automating the expression of those requirements as tests against the system being developed. Behavior-driven development is another style of test-first development that focuses on the behavior and interactions of the components, classes, and subsystems within a software application. We can look, for example, at a screen that has a button on it, and we can make a statement that says, when I click this button, then this should be the result. Behavior-driven development has an entire domain-specific vocabulary focused on developing tests in just this way. These more advanced techniques of test-first development will surface a bit more in this course and in subsequent courses dedicated to the specific test techniques.